try I'm about to try my hand at making elderberry syrup for the first time I got these on Amazon they were around $20 and then I don't have any lemons, but it calls for lemon, so I'm going to do this lemon extract. And then I'm going to do a little bit of vanilla. It says to put, like, real vanilla in there. I have extract. That's what I'm going to do. And then I do have some mandarin, so I'm going to kind of zest some in there. And then just also put these in there for flavor. And then I'm just using regular honey. Uh, I don't have any organic honey, and I'm not going to go to the store today to get some. Maybe next time. So I'm going to be doing two cups of this, all of this kind of to flavor, and then six cups of water, and I'm going to be doing this in my Instant Pot. We're going to do high pressure for seven minutes. We'll see how it goes. Once we get all our ingredients in there, we are going to, Aria wants to help me here. We're going to do pressure cook. Hold on. You're going to go down. Is that 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We're going to pressure cook it for 7 minutes and then it'll be ready. That's my baby voice because I'm talking to my 3-year-old. Excuse it. So anyway, 7 minutes, high pressure. We'll see how it turns out. When it gets out of here, we will strain all the extra juices out and then store Okay, so once the seven minutes are over, you are going to naturally release the rest of the steam, get the pressure off of there, then we'll open it up, see how it looks. Oh, well, it smells heavenly. It's been smelling really good the whole time it cooks. So now we are going to let that cool a second, and then I'm going to strain it into here. I don't have a mesh strainer, and I'm just a go-with-what-you-have type girl. So we're going to try it in this and see if it works. We're gonna strain it all into here, make sure we basically just have the juice, and then I'm gonna put it in this container, made a little cute label for it there, and uh, I hope it'll all fit in there. If not, I have other like spaghetti can jar, spaghetti sauce jars and stuff like that I can do if I need more than that. We'll just see, I've never made it before. We'll see how much it gives us. So I'm gonna let this cool, and then I'm gonna start pouring it into there, because I don't wanna pick it up here. Okay, so I used my spoon and I got out the last little bit that was in our pan and now I'm just going to get out these oranges. There should be, yep, there's another one. And then I'm going to start pushing it down. I don't want to lose too many of my elderberries. And just get all the juice out of here that I can. So we're just going to push 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 we're gonna keep doing this till I feel like all the juice has come out of them all the nutrients that we can oh and then we'll see how much liquid we have after we mush here for a second okay so we push push pushed and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it back over my instant pot and see if anything else just drips out. I don't want to waste any, but look at how much this bowl's pretty good sized. And look at how much that is. I think I will probably need another container, but now I'm going to dump it in here and see how much we have. <music> they're all done I did make a little bit of a mess so I had to get some more paper I would recommend a funnel I didn't have one it's okay I didn't spill very much I did have to get a second jar I'm letting these cool before I put the tops on and I will say if you are using plastic um, jars 
let it cool a little before you put it in the plastic jars like I did and then also don't fill them all the way up to the top give them room to breathe if you will so I'm gonna let these cool off and then I will add my lids back on this was from elderberry gummies that we had so I just washed that out gave it a little label so I'm gonna let these cool put the lids on put them in the fridge and that's it super simple we'll see how long this lasts for my family of seven I'll let you guys know how long it lasts since we're not sick we're just gonna do like a tablespoon a day for everybody so it should last quite a bit. We'll find out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.